Okay, this is um, this is lab five, and uh, this is the video to help you do this lab. Um, the uh, so it, so uh, we're going to cover uh, PWM in this lab, and part of the reason we're doing this is because with the tilt tables we're going to need to use the PWM uh, in order to um, uh, drive the uh, the servos that we need for the tilt table. So what? what we're going to do in this lab we're going to use one of the example labs and it, there's two possible example labs we could use um, uh, there's this one that says uh, uh, driver example T, uh, TPM simple PWM and then there's uh, Freedom Warden you know KL25Z driver example TPM PWM two channel uh, and so uh, I thought we'd do the two channel one although they're very similar um, and they both have they both have some problems. Uh, I'll show you. Let me do the one because I've already modified this other one. So let me do this one. We'll open this one, and then we'll run this one. And I'll show you kind of the problem it has. Um, and he here's this. Well, here's the source. So here's the source, and what it does, it prints out this message, and then you put in a value from uh, zero to nine, and it sets the PWM at that value. Now. What I've done is I've I've uh, I've gone ahead and and taken um, let's see I'm gonna I think I'll put this over here and blow it up okay so so here's my board right there and you can see that it's kind of got an orange light on it and I've added some modifications so I put a little wire here um, let me shut off the light I. I hooked a little wire so to the uh, LED so that I could uh, monitor it, and then I've grounded my scope probe over here on the ground pin, and then I have the scope connected there to the little wire I soldered on, and then uh, there is the scope right now. You can see if I can hold it nice and stable, and what it's showing, it's showing about a 20% uh, uh, duty cycle where it's up for 20% and it's down for 80%. Now the interesting thing is that uh, the lights on when the pin is grounded because it has a common anode. Uh, the RGB LED has a common anode. So what you're seeing there then is uh, is an 80% uh, duty cycle essentially instead of a 20% duty cycle because when it's down it's it's max. And if we get a little closer I think I can show this. I'll try and do this. Hold this really still. And see if I can get even closer. And you can see maybe that it's showing that it's that it's got a I was gonna try and let you see the frequency. But the frequency is it says is twenty four hertz. Can maybe read it there. Yeah, so 24 hertz. And if you do the math, uh, you can look at the numbers here. Well, you just can't see them. I'm sorry. But the 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 period is 41. The period is uh, is 41. Uh, the period is 41 uh, nanoseconds. I think that's right. 41 microseconds rather the period is 41 microseconds and uh, there we go yeah the period is 41 microseconds and the uptime is uh, 8.3 microseconds so if we bring up a calculator and look at that let's see let me do the count Okay, so if we bring up a calculator and look at it, so if, if we take uh, 8.3 and divide it by the 41 period, that gives us, uh, uh, you know, 0.20 or 20%. And so that's, that's what the duty cycle is. And if we, uh, now I'm going to shrink this back down and go over here and I'll we'll look at the code a little bit. And we'll make this bigger. Yeah, and 
something like this. Okay, perfect. All right, now if we look at the code, um, you can see, and I hope you can read this, it's, it's probably barely readable. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop the program that's running, uh, and I'll go ahead and, and compile this. So let me highlight this other program, and then I will hit the blue bug, and hopefully it should compile. Remember, you can always go down here and hit the debug down there and hold the shift key down, and it'll force the rediscovery of the probe if it doesn't. Okay, so it looks like it's good. It says PE, semi-hosting console, so it means it's, it's, it should be okay. And now I'll hit the green arrow and we'll run it. And uh, it prints out this message. You know, if an LED is connected to the TPM pin, you'll see a change in LED brightness if you enter different values. Well, it doesn't really work that well. So look, I, if I enter in, if I enter in uh, five, then uh, you can see that it, it says duty cycle successfully updated. And then it says, please enter a value. And it prints out 218. And I think what happens, I think it reads in the carriage return of the line feed and subtracts it from uh, 255 or whatever, 256, and comes up with a funny number. And then it asks again, and then it's waiting for the next value. But in the meantime, it's it's shut off the PWM. Uh, well, it hadn't shut it off, but it puts it to some strange value. So you never really see, you don't see the range. Uh, and um, and for some reason, it, it's just, it's not, it's like, completely on. I think it grounds the pin and so there's there's no PWM signal coming out now. And you can see that because uh, if I hold it up here, uh, you can see that the green LED is on and if, let me see if I can bring up my other camera. Here, I'm going to pause it just briefly. Uh, and Okay, so now you can see I've got a little um, inset here where I, you can see the board, and you can see it's just on, and in fact, watch, I'll enter a little value, um, and then you can see, I'll click this back real quickly, so like if I put in four, and then I hit the carriage return, it, it blinks for a little bit and then it's done, and and it's back to, well now it's off completely, it's, it's really strange, it's just not working properly, and that's because it it, it gets this spurious value when it reads. Now, if we look at the code, um, so here's the code up here, and maybe we'll blow this up a little bit. Uh, so if we look at the code, uh, it it print it, here's the infinite while loop that it's running in, and basically it, it prints this out, says you know enter the value one to five, then it does get character, subtracts thirty from the ASCII value to give us an actual digit. And that should be a digit zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it prints that out, and then it uh, compares it then to uh, nine. And if it's greater than nine, then it runs this loop again. But if it's less than nine, it drops through, updates the duty cycle by multiplying it by ten, and then passes that duty cycle to the uh, uh, to the TPM module in in these calls. Um, so, but first it disables the channel, and then it updates it, and then uh, it starts the channel with the updated duty cycle, and then it goes back and it does this again. And uh, I'm not sure where it gets screwed up, but it doesn't work properly, that's for sure. Something, there's some problem with this code, because uh, you can you can see, uh, let's see, we didn't want to do that. You can see that it, uh, that it enters in this this bogus value here in between. So there's it's reading it's reading this twice. Uh, it's just not a it's just not well written is the problem. And uh, this do while loops just not executing correctly, and it's causing problems. So anyway, uh, and so when it drops when it comes through and it and and it gets this this 218 value and it prints that out, then uh, it somehow I think it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure why it's not working correctly, but it doesn't. So anyway, uh, so what I did in this other routine, I modified it. So we'll, we'll, so I'm going to close this one, and we'll close this project, and we'll, and instead we'll look at this one. And let me go back to the uh, 
yeah we're good there okay so if we look at this one and we look at the code I just modified the code and here's what I did I commented out commented out the uh, the do while loop and I just went ahead and 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 hard set the uh, the duty cycle to uh, 8 times 10 or 80 percent essentially is what that is and then that's what gets written in um, and uh, so so you've already seen the eight so let me I'll do if I'll, I'll change this to a five and then we'll run it again and so I just added in this little code the, the green codes what was there and I just replicated this one and commented out the, all this stuff and so then to go back to the original code I'll just delete this and then comment the above uh, the other thing I did I added this infinite while loop at the end so once it comes through it stops and it doesn't uh, it doesn't go it doesn't go back through uh, and keep turning it on and off um, in this one uh, in this one it it does not it didn't do what the other one do, did which was turn off the, the duty cycle and then set it and then start it back again which I think also caused a lot of problems so in any event uh, so here's so here's this code and and so now I've set it for five now let's run it and then we'll look at the scope again and see if we can see what's going on all right so we'll compile it oops yeah it's going okay he's gonna save it oh I guess we had the other one running still yeah yeah okay that's fine we stopped okay so so let's we'll we'll stop the debug session. I think it probably worked, but I'm going to do it again. Okay, and then and then we'll run it, and then we'll look at the scope, and we'll see it's 50% duty cycle. So what I'd like you to do, um, and I, and we'll we'll also see the little we'll, we'll play it, we'll put the little in. You can see now it's it's uh, let's run it, and we should then see that we have this level of brightness and then let's look at the scope if we can um, and I'm going to put this down like this and see if we can get the scope to show up I think it's upside down isn't it so we have to switch this like this Yeah. All right. So you can see now, instead of a twenty percent duty cycle, we really do have a fifty percent duty cycle, and that's that's what we put in. So we're gonna. So what I want you to do, uh, hopefully, I'm gonna change this one more time, and then I'll show you. Hopefully, we'll put in a one percent duty cycle here. Uh, where's our code? We'll put a. We'll put a instead of five unsigned five here. We'll put a an unsigned one. Uh, oh, actually, we need an. Uh, yeah, let's try that. And uh, I think that'll work okay. And then, Okay, and then we'll run it. And then you can see, notice that the that the orange light, oops, you can't see it yet. Notice that the orange light's much dimmer than it was. So now we'll, we'll change this to nine and, and we'll rerun it. Maybe I'll, here, I'll put this over in the other window so you can see it. Okay, so you can see it's not very bright there. Let's, now let's change this to, um, we'll change it. To nine, we'll make it as bright as possible, and um, and then we'll run it again. And uh, I'll also, um, let me just show a quick shot of the of the scope, so you can see you can see now 
it's mostly up it's only down for 10 percent so that's why it's very dim okay Okay, now, now you can see it's uh, not too dim. Okay, now we'll go back here and we'll change it to nine. We'll stop it. We'll reset the, the uh, turn off the debug session and then we'll reprogram it. And we'll save the changes. So if you have a scope or you go into the lab, you can you can probe uh, the green LED. And if you want to do that, I'll show you which pin it is. Um, all right, so now we're running. Uh, and now we can see, now see the now see the orange LED is a whole lot brighter. And, and remember, we're actually driving two channels here. Uh, so that's why we're getting orange. We're driving the red and the green channel. And that's giving us the orange. Or maybe we're driving the, yeah, I think it's the red and the green. Um, so, but we're only looking at the green on the oscilloscope. And now, if, now if I give you one more peek at the oscilloscope, uh, right here, and I'm going to flip it over. So it's, now you can see that it's, it's down for 90% and up for 10%. And that's why we've got a brighter LED. Again, remembering that it's, that it has a common anode and that's why it's, um, that's why when it's, when the pin is grounded, the LED is on. When the pin is high, the LED is off. All right, so um, so, so the one I want you to actually play with then, well, you can actually do either one of them, uh, but this is the, I think this two-channel one works a little better, and so that's probably the one to use. Uh, and it's, again, Freedom um, uh, FRDM KL25Z slash underscore driver underscore examples underscore tpm underscore pwm underscore two channel and that's the one to do and then make those changes basically comment out the do while loop and then just uh and comment out this update the duty cycle and change uh, and copy it paste it back in and instead of uh get character value times 10u just put nine unsigned times 10 unsigned to get the duty cycle, or if you want to just write in, you know, 90 unsigned. Uh, and actually, we could probably write in any percentage you want. Um, yeah, maybe I'll even change it and I'll write in um, um, f uh, five unsigned. And that'll be, that'll, that'll give us 90, uh, uh, that'll give us, um, only a 5% duty cycle. And let's see, that should work. So let's let's uh, stop it. Chant, stop the debug session. And run the code. Save it. And we'll see if our orange light's really dim now, which is what it should be. Yeah, you can see, you can barely see it. Um, and you can see if we look at our scope again that the duty cycle is only like five percent and if we look at the numbers which you can't see unfortunately uh, <clears throat> we see it's we have we're down to uh, um, yeah we're down to uh, yeah we're well the, the pulse is up for 39.6 uh, microseconds out of 41, uh, which is going to be 95% or something close to it. All right, so let me just go over the, I think I have a document here. Uh, yeah, so you can see here we have the, the uh, this is the user's manual for the Freedom Board KL25Z and you can always just uh, Google that up if you want. I think it's also on Blackboard and here's the RGB uh, and you can see uh, pin 
Pin two is the common pin and it's pulled high to 3.3 volts because it's a common anode uh, RGB LED. And then the, th the three cathodes, red is pin one, um, blue is pin three, and green is pin four. And that's, that's where I, so I soldered the wire on uh, to, the, uh, to the micro side of, of the resistor. So I'm, I soldered it on on this side, but I, I guess I could have soldered it on on either side, but that's where I soldered it. Uh, actually, no, I guess I... No, actually, I soldered it on on the uh, I soldered it on on the uh, on the on the LED side, and in fact, we can we can look at that because we can unplug this. Let's see. Not sure what's going on and if we come down and really look at it very closely uh, and we focus it, you can see here is the. Uh, You can see here's where the here's where it's I can't you can't see with that but uh, you can see there there's R7 and I soldered it onto this side of R7 which then goes directly to uh, to pin um, four I think it is yeah pin four is right there you can see the pin four and so. So I basically soldered it here instead of there because it was easier to get to that spot. That's just, and that was the current limiting resistor in that circuit. All right, yeah, you can see it pretty good there. Um, well, maybe you can't. Let's see if I, here, I'll put this over here. So you can see this is the, this is the resistor and it's actually soldered. No, I soldered it onto that side. I, I actually, and then this side of the resistor goes to pin four. That's just the current limiting resistor for the the green LED. All right. Okay, so um, so that's so what I want you to do in the lab is make those changes to the code, which I'll post, and and uh, and then I want you to play with the numbers and convince yourself that you can see the change in the PWM, and if you have a scope, uh, then you could you could actually probe that pin you don't have to solder a wire on you can just probe it directly and you can probe it on either side of that R uh, uh, either side of uh, uh, R7 would be fine okay I think with that we'll stop the recording and uh, then we'll, this will be for the lab for Thursday